Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Watch Dogs 2. This is Hill, and we are here with yet another episode. And we are about to take on the main mission, Robot Wars. And I just have to caution you, before we start, there was a mandatory NVIDIA update um, that controls this recording software that I'm using. And I'm seeing some very bizarre behavior, like it reset all of the settings on my game, of all things. Plus the uh, the borders and the screen size seem seem to have been off. Hopefully, I've made the correct adjustments. Uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed. And you know, if there is anything unusual, you know, my my apologies. But I really hate these updates because they never go right. There's always something that they end up breaking. So, all right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and start with Robot Wars. Hey, look, we want to go after Titus, okay? Uh, robotics? Yeah, yeah. Did you find something in the data dome? Yeah, um, okay, well, let's just say that all the, the taxes and the government grants and the research programs, you'll notice the Koi signs there, none of it adds up, okay? They're, they're collaborating with Bloom on something they call the Tenure Plan. Again, Koi signs. Hmm which is supposed to improve CTOS security. Then why are they filing patents on military tech? Because right? CTOS is going the way of all control systems. That's why Junior here is a little bot on a mission. No, he's not. That is not your fucking call. Wait, you think you're just gonna skip through Titus's front door and steal all their dirty secrets? Even Uncle Sam buys his biometric locks from Titus. That's the level of security we're dealing with, amigo. A palm reader? That's easy. We just need to find a hand. I bet you can get one, no problem. Hey, that's your plan? Cut somebody's hand off? But it works. Not here. There are heart rate monitors and infrared scan that check for blood flow. No blood flow, no unlock, no pass around. Okay, fine. Then we, we grab someone alive and we get them to open it for us. No. The heart rate monitors will flag if he's nervous. Oh, okay, then we, we, we inject someone with a, with a sedative to bring down their heart rate. For fuck's sake, we already had a working plan here. Not with him! Junior, off. Oh. Now you listen to me. You don't get to walk in here like you own the place, okay? This is my garage. Hmm. My hardware. He wants to turn Junior into a bomb. An EMP bomb, Trojan horse style. We hit the right hardware, fry the database, and the doors reset to the default codes. Easy fucking peasy. Then all we need is the defaults. Huh. It does work, man. Huh? Oh my God. One night. One night in the desert together. The two of you are best friends? Well, you know what? Go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead. Take his side, okay? Don't let me get in the way. Right? Hey, grow the fuck up, son. Fuck you, say hey, 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 hey. Hold on. <laughs> Chill out, man. Chill out. How do we get him inside? Well, first of all, <clears throat> we're gonna have to get rid of all this meaningful propaganda. Stop. Stop! Guys, stop. Just keep the paint. When one of these things breaks down, Titus picks them up from a service depot. Oh. That's your way to get him inside. Huh. That's good. That's very good. Nice wrench. All right, all right. <laughs> Ready to roll when you are, Marcus. Yeah. Got Junior loaded up and back? Yep, all right. he's in there. So, will MacGyver and EMP at the repair depot? Hard to believe that's all you really need to break into the world's top security company. Well, not counting the $36,000 robot you stole. So what you're saying is, I'm the key contributor in this plan. <laughs> nah, I'm saying you're basically a shoplifter, a highwayman. Highwayman? Oh, I like that. The masked highwayman stalks the twilight roads. Ever searching for the kingdom's most treasured relics. 
No job is too small or too demeaning for the masked highwayman. The masked highwayman and his underperforming but big-hearted companion, the dark stranger. You know what? I take back highwayman. You're now the masked cracker. I like how this game has gotten so chatty that I can't even get in a word edgewise. Alright, let's turn off this music. I'm sure it's already too late. They flagged me as uh, having copyrighted material. But here we are at the Titus facility. Alright, I'm gonna whip us up a nasty little EMP bomb. I don't think I'll have a problem finding the right parts in this place. Man, the robots we could build in here! Yeah, maybe next time. Alright, let's see what we can do here. But I had to um, take off uh, some of the shuffler outfit, the hat and stuff. I mean, I, I'm sorry, folks. This game is so violent, and I, I can't deal with these uh, these cracking bones and stuff. It's just, just too much. It's just too much violence. <laughs> oh wow, I tell you. Yeah, I was just thinking. It's like this game is more violent than like a Splinter Cell game because. The non-violent options that they have in that game are truly non-violent. Like you can use gas and you can just, you know, hit somebody with your fist. And it, it's not nearly as violent as this game, but anyhow. And then and then the just you know, breaking every bone in somebody's body, that that's just too much. Alright, let's uh scout around out here. I think this thing's gonna make this uh, jump. I think it might cause too much damage. Let's see. So those doors are open. And I still can't hack this. Okay, there's the box that controls that. Okay.
a guard right there, okay. And I'm stuck. Right. He's going to stop right in front of the part that I'm trying to pick up. If I could do all of this remotely, we can certainly try. deployed. Alright, so where's the last piece?
then my systems are operating optimally. Got him. Wrench, I got the EMP ready. Where's Junior now? I got him ready at the drop-off zone. Can you get the door for me? You got it. Okay, wrench is where now? I guess he's back outside. jump back up here. Oh, there we go. So I gotta go inside this building here, okay? This box, that's outside, okay. Oh no, he's not here. All right, I think this is the better way of doing it. Hopefully, they will not see this drone so we can watch him perform whatever kind of acts these are with these machines. <laughs> you may want to look away, people. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, did I get my drone back? My jumper. Plant the EMP. Okay, little guy. Today is your day. Make us proud. All right, EMP is done. Pack it up, he's not here. All right, Junior's ready for pickup. Next stop, Titus. Ranch, you and I need to powwow. I have an idea. I'm sending you some coordinates to follow. Ooh, a special mission. Marcus, you meet me outside Titus when you're ready. Near the big Silicon Valley sign. Are you running the show now? Nope. This one's going to be mostly Marcus, but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he gets in there. I'll see you there, Ray. All right, that's it. Mission complete. Wait for it. There we go. Okay, so we need to meet Ray near Silicon Valley sign. I guess any Silicon Valley sign will do. What's going on? 
tap me. I want to get this um research point. Should be available right now since it's unlocked. Just grab this really quick. Please just don't let me get hurt. Got it. All right, let's see. Where is Ray? There's no fast travel points anywhere around. I love it. Okay. Oh my god. I'm getting out of here. Looks like no cars around here either. So I will see you guys on the other side as we take this long winding drive and we will reconvene. Oh wow, here's the Silicon Valley sign now. Maybe we don't need to reconvene, but maybe we do. Anyhow, it's probably going to take a while for me to... Why don't I just drive around here? What? You know, what, what good is GPS, I'm telling you? Here we go. We are already here. What are you trying to topple Goliath? The more of them we drag into the light the more torches and pitchforks we're going to see in response. Are you sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but... The people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Anyway, you get to go inside Tardis and play with the robots. Shit, when was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. Uh, dynamite. It's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out, okay, so... It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the tightest warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> then you are gonna go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plants. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. <laughs> All right, reach the tightest front entrance. I take it this is the, yes, look at this. This is the tightest facility up ahead. Um. Oh, and look, they've left a motorcycle for me. Okay. Nice. Um, no, I'm not even going to use GPS because it hasn't helped me thus far. Like, ignoring GPS seems to be the best way to go about this. Uh, but I do need a bridge, though, I think, to get across here. Look out, 
lady. The Titus facility. Would you allow me to scan you? Damn maniac! Yeah.